Hi everyone, we're so glad that you're joining us again for another one of our on-demand Sunday School lessons. This month, we finally get to start digging into each of our fruits of the Spirit, beginning with the fruit of love. Our story this week involves David and Jonathan and can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 20. We'll be looking at David and Jonathan's friendship. David and Jonathan used bows and arrows in this story to talk about the way that they love each other and that they love and support each other through friendship. We're going to make our very own version of that by doing paper airplanes. Everyone needs to make their own paper airplane, and if you don't use separate colors, be sure to write your name on yours so that you know which one belongs to you. Then you're going to have a contest to see who can either throw their paper airplane the furthest, who can throw it the fastest, or who can hit a target dead on. Once you've done that, go ahead and record your results and see who your winner might be. As we're talking about love during the month of September, we wanted to take a closer look at an example of love in the form of friendship. So I'm not sure if you've ever heard of David and Jonathan's friendship in the Bible, but we're talking about King David, who we all know and love as the man after God's own heart. Well, King David and Jonathan were the best of friends, but Jonathan's dad, King Saul, he kind of had it out for, for King David. He really was not a fan and he was trying to hurt him a lot. So one day, David came and spoke to Jonathan and said to Jonathan, I need to know if it's safe to come home or if I need to flee. And so what Jonathan did is he said, listen, David, my best friend, I want to do something to help you and to take care of you. So he said, I'm going to talk to my dad. And if he is responding in a really mean way about you coming home, then I'm going to tell you that it's time to leave. If I talk to my dad and he says, oh, I love David. Let's welcome him home. Then I'll tell you it's safe to come back. So what Jonathan did is he arranged this whole conversation and then his secret message to tell David he was going to use a bow and arrow. So he took his bow and arrow and he said, if I shoot the arrow this direction, then that means you have to leave. He's still upset. If I shoot the arrow in this direction, that means it's safe to come home. Well, so the day came, Jonathan talked to his dad and King Saul was still so mad, so mad at David. He really wanted to just chase him and hurt him. So what he did, Jonathan took his arrow and he sent it in the direction that told David that it was not safe to come home. So what David did is David was able to know that he needed to flee. Jonathan saved David's life in that moment and we're able to see just how much Jonathan loved David and took care of his friends. I know that there are people in your life who love and take care of you and there are people who you love and take care of. So this week, we want you to look at those people. We want you to thank the people who take care of you and love you and are great friends. And we want you to think of the ways that you are a great friend to others too, just like Jonathan is to David. All right, you ready? Ready? Set, go. Oh, yes, we're definitely <laughs> went a lot further. Are you ready? Set.